is in your face. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, in today's video, we are going to go through a few items here on the new store and we're going to actually cross-reference these prices with complete and sold and possibly uh, do a little bit of revising of some prices. So, when I first put these items on, obviously I looked on complete and sold and priced them sort of in line with that, possibly a few a little bit higher, uh, possibly a few a little bit on the lower end. But that's basically what I did and that's what I do to uh, whenever I'm listing items so then I can kind of get them to sell at a reasonable time scale. As I mentioned, some of the views on some items a few days back weren't brilliant. Now this update, I don't know, I'm trying to think, I don't know exactly when the last update was but I have a feeling it was maybe about seven days ago and some of the views on a few of the Bite Now items have increased a little bit but they're still, still not brilliant. So I wanted to do this, I wanted to come in and change a few of these prices and I thought it's brilliant to go through it together on video because some people out there might be new to resign and they might not even know how to check completed and sold or anything like that. So um, I've actually already sorted this uh, Ben 10 one, in fact um, when I went on the complete and sold when I first listed it I saw loads of these on there and then I went in just before and I looked at the complete and sold and there is not one on complete and sold so I don't know what's going on there but I did use my phone um, when I was checking prices because I actually checked prices of it when I was in the shop or just maybe just after I was in the shop or something after buying it um, and then obviously to list I actually used the PC and I know eBay shouldn't necessarily do this or anything, but it seems that sometimes you can actually find sold listings on, e on eBay on your phone uh, that you can't find on the computer or vice versa. Actually, it's usually the other way around. Normally, you can find sold listings on the com computer that you can't find on your phone. I've had that a few times. I don't know whether it's a glitch or whatever it is. Obviously, eBay at the moment are famous for glitches So and certainly sort of the latter end of last year as well. So it might be that, um, but I don't know. I couldn't find it. The only one I could find is a slight different variant on this comic book set, but the ones that are listed, are list I'm pretty competitive. I'm like one of the cheapest, so I thought, you know what? I'll leave that as it is for now, but I might need to reduce that in time because there's it seems like there's no sold listings on there anymore, so might be one to reduce anyway. So I'm going to go through this one with you here first, and depending on how long this video is, or how long I'm taking with each of these, I might not show you all of these on video, because I do like these updates to be fairly kind of just, you know, condensed, sort of 8 to 10 minutes, something like that. Oh, also, before I continue, I have got 31 items in the other room that I'm yet to photograph uh, to be able to list on the new store. So that would be really, really good because as you are aware, there's about 14 or 15 items on this new store right now. Um, so giving it an injection of those 31 new items in the few days to come will be really cool. And when I do that, when I start putting them on, I will obviously share those in update, share me, not necessarily share me listing them, but share the new items that have actually gone on. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that'll be interesting in the next few days. But Let's go ahead and type this uh, Lego set in. Right, so we can see on uh, the, this is just the listed, uh, Lego Brickheads Easter Bunny 40271, £8, £8.25. Now I did, I knew I was going a bit high on this one. Uh, I think I put it on for 9 dollars free post. Uh, so we'll probably see, yeah, £8 there, £8.97, £7.95, uh, £4.49 plus post. 899 for two, 450, 825, 790. I mean, we're all over the shop, really, from four quid to sort of nine quid. So, what I'm going to do on that one is I'm literally just going to go in here uh, and I'm going to change that price to 895 and see if we can catch a sale on that, uh, considering that some uh, have gone for around that price as the kind of a top end. So I might have been shooting slightly high on that one. Uh, Ravensburger LS Lowry coming from a mill puzzle. So let's do that one there. So I've just typed this in. I'm actually on complete and sold. And uh, these are so some of these are brand new and sealed. Some are pre-owned. Mine is actually brand new and sealed, as you will be aware if you watch the whole video. So we've got one here, Ravensburger. That's 27th of December, £15. Uh, 
8th of December there, a little bit of a while ago, 1895 plus post, 995, that actually that's pre-owned, brand new 15 quid, 1199 plus 299, uh, that's brand new, pre-owned 5 quid, uh, brand new £14.60. Now I've got mine on for £14.99 plus postage. So considering these two here, this is another thing to look at as well. These two sold around Christmas time. So the prices might be, especially this one here, this price is a little bit inflated because of Christmas. So that's why I didn't go ahead first off and put it on for £18.95. Um, but I think possibly uh, I need to come down to maybe £12.99 plus my postage on that. Uh, and then hopefully uh, I should catch a sale on that one. So that's what I'm going to go for on that one. Next we've got this ingenious game. This uh, Renner... Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to pronounce that. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Um, anyway, we're just going to type this in here, this board game. So, next one here, we've got this ingenious board game. This was pre-owned. Mine is brand new and sealed, but the thing is, it has a few different little bits of uh, whips and tears to the seal. So, we've got to take that into account as well. But pre-owned was 4 99 Pre-owned, £10 best offer taken, so maybe like 7 8 quid. Uh, pre-owned there, 15 quid, uh, 6th of January. So, that wasn't... I mean, well, yeah, actually, now it's a month ago. I'm still thinking it's like the 20th of Jan. Um, but, you know, still, that's gone uh, 15 quid. Uh, and it's just after Christmas as well, so that's good. Um, we've got uh, 14.99 brand new. Um, so I actually put this on quite high, actually. Uh, and I knew I was going high when I actually did it. Um, 17.99. Now, I don't know. I think that might be free post. Um, but I think what I'm going to do it is, obviously, it's kind of brand new because... It's brand new and sealed with just a few different whips and tears to the seal. I'm going to actually put out $14.99 and we'll see where we go for that. Um, and yeah, maybe that'll... Oh, that's just changed back to $17.99 there. Try that again. Maybe that'll uh, help it out a bit anyway. Let's see if that works now. There we go, it's worked now. And then finally we've got this little bit of our way that I paid a fiver for. Um, Star Wars Forces of Destiny figure here. And all of these are in uh, haul videos if you want to see them. Ahsoka Tano Forces of Destiny, I think it was. Destiny. Well, let's check. Might need to bring this down a little bit. We can see there's one there gone. Oh no, that was November actually, so that's a bit of a while ago. Um 1350 November. I thought I saw maybe I've typed in the what it says no exact matches, so I've uh, I've typed Ahsoka wrong, that's why. I knew there was something wrong because it said no exact matches there. Right, there we go. Ah, here we go, January. So, 13.50 plus post on bids. Tenor on bids. 14.95 plus post. Um, now, I do know that that is... Uh, I've got that on for free post now. There's one gone for 20 there on uh, 17th of Jan. So, 19 there on bids, 17th of Jan. So I'm not going to come down much on that. I think I might just put down, put that down by a quid. See if that helps. I mean, I might need to still come down another quid or something. But, you know, I don't want to go down too much too fast. I can revise this whenever I want, you see. So anyway, so I'll do that. So I'm going to submit them now. And then I'll just take you over to the main screen. And uh, I know I've actually got a bid on an auction item. I think it might even be ending today. So we'll have a look at that very quickly to end. So, I have just submitted those, and uh, obviously those prices have all been uh, sorted there. Uh, and you can see this is the one that I had a, a bid on. Uh, this Lego Brickhead's uh, just Mr. and Mrs. Claus set. Five ninety nine available quantity 1, views 23, so again the views aren't brilliant on that, um, and then there is 6 watches on it, it's ending in 19 hours, hopefully it'll go up a little bit, I can't see it going up much more because it's after Christmas now and not many more people are going to be wanting this necessarily at this time of year, um, but yeah it does have 6 watches so we'll see on that one, um, so obviously I'll share with you the final sale price of that one when it sells, um, on, well kind of after it sells on the next update, I suppose. So I'll leave it there for this one, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys. I want the world, yeah, I want the world. Yeah, I want it all, said I want the world. Yeah, I want the world. I'm coming to get it, don't care what you heard. Don't care what you heard. I'm taking it all cause I want the world Yeah, I want the world Yeah, I want the world It's too easy feeling too comfortable 
I don't think I can be satisfied 2015 thought I had it all Watch it, I slow down